Welcome back to my channel guys, this is me Ari with another anime first impression video. This is going to be on Love is Indivisible by Twins. Uh, it is a series that uh, I think only has two episodes out at the time of recording. Um, uh, we just recorded yesterday, uh, last night, um, a few videos um, and as well as a live video with RCS. And I did talk about this one in the live. So if you want to hear more detailed, uh, well, not really detailed, but more, uh, I guess, debatable uh, conversation between me and RCS on this series, it is, I think, the, the one of the very first series that we talk about there in the live. So you guys can go check it out on my live after this video if you want um but um yeah we did we did talk about it there before anything else guys if you haven't done so by now make sure you subscribe to my channel give some love by comment liking and sharing uh i am trying to do my best to release more content that you guys want uh lives seem to be something that you guys want more of so I'm trying my best to do it more regularly and less seasonally i guess um it just it, it is what it is um i i try not to rush too much into it because then i i don't want you guys to expect a live every week right uh that's probably not gonna be something possible but we'll see we'll see what happens i, I do appreciate the love and support and um let's talk about this series so this series in particular uh love is indivisible by twins it took me by surprise uh, i personally put it in my top five uh last night and uh, i did remove it just because rcs had already included it and we were trying to have different um series in our top fives that way we can talk about 10 series and not you know three series right uh so this one, though, I do believe it deserves to be in my top five just because of the shock factor and because of the romance drama that we hit in the first episode. So, um, the episode is divided into two parts, I guess, uh, or actually three parts, maybe. Uh, the first part, like the first five minutes, it's a joint memory, almost, of the twin girls meeting this little boy and they become friends essentially right now from the twin girls we have a more tomboyish girl who's more into sports she is less smart but she's still very much um you know a, a, a she's a girl obviously and then there's the other girl who she's more feminine but also lewd because she likes to read and she ends up like reading more lewd, lewdish books that she shouldn't be because she's in middle school. Uh, at the at the end of the sequence of her growing up, she's still in middle school, so she shouldn't be reading those books. But whatever, um, that's it is what it is. Uh, the boy himself, we don't really, really get a lot of him, but he is also a bookworm. Uh, he very much is a uh, leader type oriented person. He. Um, likes to basically defend those that are in need of being defended uh so he's very much you know he's likable he's a, he's a likable character which is why they both fall in love with him so for the rest of the episode they divide it into two parts and essentially um we get the view of this whole mess of from each twin so first we start with the tomboyish girl she, as they grow up, she feels that she's led away from the trio group and that her sister, the more nerdy one, it hangs out with the guy more, right? And that they obviously have more to talk about because they have a lot more in common. And she feels like that's not fair because in middle school, she finally realizes that she actually likes him, right? Uh, she didn't really define the feeling until then, but she knew that there was something about him that she liked and it's him he liked him as a person she wants to be with him as you know dating wise um but she also sees her sister walk home with him do stuff with him read books with him like all, 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 all kinds of stuff so she also knows my sister probably likes him too right it, it can't just be a coincidence that she's like that with him so she goes out one day 
and tells the guy through text, Katie, I need to meet with you tonight. And um, she goes out one day and basically confesses herself to him and asks him, do you want to go out with me? And he says, yes. And it basically it becomes almost, um, you know, it, it, it's a whole 180 on the relationship. They, they get close. We see a little montage of the relationship, them going out to dates, them doing stuff, uh, how they're hiding their relationship from people because they're a little bit too young. The school doesn't allow it and stuff like that. The only person that knows is her sister, who she told that same night. Um, her sister supports it. Her sister is happy for them and she basically is uh is helping her in different aspects of the relationship giving her tips and stuff like that um and eventually the the big montage ends with them finally kissing in in starway and then we kind of get more of the story and essentially we see that the tomboyish girl feels guilt she knows that her sister likes the guy she knows that pretty much up to that point she still knows that and so she decides to break up with him uh, almost the same way that she confesses her love to him uh it's very poetic to be honest <laughs> she breaks up with him and uh that's that i mean then we see again almost the same story but from the perspective of the sister that is not tomboyish the more nerdyish one and ludish one and basically same thing since little she she saw something special in him she saw a lot of things common with him she wanted to be with him she said mm, i want to spend more time with him i if i could walk home with him i did if if i could do x and y i would do it right and then one day her sister comes and confesses that they're dating and that kind of crushes her right and throughout this whole story of her side of the story she basically um well she describes it as a lone tiger but basically lone wolf for the american public uh she she sees herself as a lone wolf as in like she doesn't need anybody she doesn't need anybody in her life and she felt like he was the only person that maybe she could be with and also accept in her life and now that they're dating she's like she kind of goes back to that head space of I don't need no, nobody in my life and it just kind of shows the pain that she was going through through the relationship even though she was helping her pick clothes and help, helping her um lie through her parents that you know oh yeah she's going out with friends and um all, all the stuff that she was helping her sister with for the relationship it's just it was it was it was pain for her and then they break up and something changes right she feels better and that's it that's the first episode um haven't seen the second one yet i've heard that you know people are a little bit iffy about the drama that's too dramatic and stuff like that i personally like it um i can't say that i went to a similar relationship like that but i think everyone in in, in our lives can well experience liking someone who another friend or maybe a sibling uh, also likes and I did went through that and finding out way too late sucks um it, it, it really does um which happened to me you know it, it, I very oblivious of the whole situation and, and the and relationship did end up being a breakup because I I myself couldn't go through the whole relationship knowing that so um so yeah it's it, it, it's a relatable thing I think a lot of people go through it uh don't know what direction they're gonna go now with this series to be honest like that could be a standalone series on itself just that one episode uh, but i don't know what direction they're gonna go now like uh they're gonna add more more love interest right and i think like one of the genres it said it was gonna be a love pentagon so i'm like love pentagon that's five people so um we're missing two characters right so we'll see we'll see for now thank you guys so much for watching this if you haven't done so by now make sure you subscribe to my channel give some love by commenting liking and sharing and i will see you next time and like always don't be strangers see you guys